Hello everybody, this is Shady here, and today um, I want to discuss these recent rumours about Nintendo's new console, the Switch 2, I guess everyone's calling it now. Um, recent rumours are that uh, we're probably not going to see it till 2025, like uh, Q1 of next year, basically. And um, yeah, um, I've been hearing a lot of people being quite upset with this, and um, you know, for some reason being kind of outraged, but I really don't think it's an issue, personally. Um, you know, I'm still happy with the Switch, unlike a lot of people, you know, um, I've been hearing people, like, complaining that the, uh, apparently, you know, um, this means that they won't get good third-party support, but it's like, you know, all the best third-party games are either, like, developed specifically for the Switch or, like, older games anyway, so I don't understand the argument personally, um, and then obviously we've got people, you know, I think... From what I can tell, a lot of the people complaining are these ones who just want to make Switch content on YouTube or something. I don't know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of like, YouTubers and people like that, and, you know, influencer type people complaining. And, like, you know, Nintendo doesn't owe you, you know, owe you a new console just so you can make content on it and get those kid clicks, you know what I mean? Just, um, you know, they're a business. The Switch is still selling decently well. Um, you know, I'm assuming, you know, they probably have some big releases still for this console and you know they feel like there's no need to release it till the following year i think that's fine um you know uh and also on top of that it's all just rumors anyway so we don't know when they're actually going to release it i mean 2025 probably is the one that makes the most sense and um you know they probably just want good decent games um ready for it you know um because you have to remember that you know, these companies, they have to also take into consideration what developers think and say. You know, they'll make a... Uh, they'll give these guys the development kits. You know, let them have input as to what can be improved. Um, you know, what games are developing, schedules for that. And, you know, they don't want another, like, N64 where... You know, they released this thing with two games and then there was constant gaps. And, you know, same with the Wii U as well. You know, um, I see, I, people have to remember, Nintendo have had a real problem with um, following up a really successful console, you know. Um, look at this, like I said, Super Nintendo to N64 was quite a, um, you know, that was a massive drop-off in comparison. Um, I think people seem to forget, like, North America was really the only big... Um, market for that system like it underperformed in Europe and Japan massively and um, I mean obviously they were never big in Europe at that point anyway um, and then yeah like uh, DS to 3DS was pretty big drop off as well at least at first um, and yeah ultimately it didn't even hit 100 million whereas you know the DS was like 150 um, and then yeah Wii to Wii U is probably the biggest like I don't think it even sold a tenth of what the Wii U or what the original we did so you can understand them being a little cautious and taking their time and uh, yeah i don't think it's a bad thing you know um there's still like metro prime 4 uh to come as well so i would imagine that's going to be the big release um for the end of this year like the swan song to the wii or the switch sorry um and yeah just you know there's still plenty of great games on this console coming out dragon crest 3 remake um from what I know, is a Switch exclusive, and that's going to be massive in Japan. And um, also, I think when you look at the Switch, there's a part. This is my own conjecture and speculation, but like the Switch is on what 140 million units now. A part of me thinks that you know Nintendo wants to push it to be the biggest on console of all time. What's it like? 155, 160, 56 million was the PS2, and like. You know, they're not that far from it. Um, and with some strong releases this year, they could probably push towards that. Um, I could see them at least beating the DS um, if they support the system for at least another year. And then you also think we are, we're going to have cross-gen as well for a while. So, yeah. Not the end of the world, I don't think. And, uh, yeah, I reckon you know, they're going to have a really strong launch lineup for this new system because they want it to, to um, you know, hit the same way the Switch did. Um, yeah, I would assume the new big 3D Mario game will probably release day one on it. Um, yeah, I would imagine 
fully backwards compatible as well. They probably have some sort of enhanced ports and stuff. Um, and yeah, there's gonna be, I would imagine there's gonna be like a big third party banger as well day one. Um, you know, I personally reckon, this is just my own wishful thinking, but I reckon that um, what we're gonna get that supposed uh, Chrono Trigger 2D HD remake um, that's been rumbled. Um, you know, there's been rumors of, I would imagine that would be a launch title as well. So yeah, uh, not the end of the world. Um, yeah, and yeah, 2025 could be good. You know, there's still some big releases. Um, rumors are the PS5 Pro might be out this year as well. Um, and you know, I think it's best for Nintendo to release it at what is typically a quieter time anyway. I think, you know, um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's March, you know, the same time as the original Switch. It's a good, good time to release it. Um, I mean, with Nintendo anyway, you know, their stuff does well anyway, doesn't it? Regardless of when it is, but I think it's, it's better to just, you know, if you have to wait a few months, you know, an extra six months, or whatever from when you originally scheduled just to get a couple of deep better games or tune up some things it's definitely worth it you know um i would say though if you you know those people um you know who are on the fence about picking up a switch uh still wait and see that you know um even though i think the switch is great and um is worth buying you know these are rumors it could could all be wrong um, and yeah, you, you may as well just wait for the Switch 2, because I think it's going to be a backwards compatible. And yeah, ultimately, this could be a good thing. So yeah, anyway, that's all I really have to say. And um, yeah, have a great rest of your day, guys, and uh, catch you in the next one.